It's Lisa O'Neill here. And this week, I want to talk to you about action. I've been thinking a lot about action. So we recently at Thought Leaders Business School ran an action elective. And the action elective was designed to help our business school students to get stuff done. It was a space for students to gather, to share support, and to encourage each other in their chosen actions. And if I'm honest, I was a little bit disappointed with the number of students who took advantage of this experience. Unfortunately, I wasn't surprised. So in my experience, action is an incredibly undervalued and underutilised strategy in making progress. I reckon people are always looking for the thing, the silver bullet that will change the course of their worlds. And regardless of the question, I personally think action is always the answer. So action for me is about getting stuff done. It's about making shit happen. There's always something you could be doing to make your life or your practice better. I think that every day, every single day, I think, what is the one thing I can do today that's going to improve my life, my relationships, my practice, or maybe my bank balance? And talking, wishing, or wanting, in my experience, doesn't get you the life you want. And I reckon that the world responds to action. So Alexia Herbatado is an incredibly inspiring New Zealand thought leader who has achieved amazing things at an unbelievably young age. And she talks about having the courage to go where others won't. And one of my favourite quotes of hers is that to have the things that other people don't have, you have to be prepared to do the things that other people don't do. So since joining business school and signing up for a community where everyone is committed to a life by design, focusing on reaching a black belt income and making an impact in the world, I get that this is not for everyone. The curriculum at business school makes it possible, but only if you take action. And the methodology doesn't work unless you do. Whatever it is that's holding you back from taking action, I am certain that what you want is on the other side of what you're not doing. If you want to be well positioned, why haven't you written the book? If you want to feel professional and have the ability to think once, deliver often, why haven't you organised your IP into a system that works for you? If you want to respond to your work, why aren't you want people to respond? You want responses to all the work you're putting out in the world, why aren't you writing regularly? If you want more sales, why aren't you picking up the phone? I firmly believe that action keeps the darkness away. And taking action is a brilliant way to keep your life moving. Everyone has days where we feel a bit flat, where we just can't be bothered. And for me, action is the answer. It helps with what I call Eeyore moments. The moments when you feel hopeless, when you've lost interest, when you stop moving. If you're having an Eeyore moment, take some action. It will distract you from the dark fog that comes when you're feeling low. Sometimes the action is making a decision to stop. It's not about always going. It's about deciding and acting on your decisions. So I often get asked if I have times when I feel flat. I have such high energy, people are intrigued, and they wonder if I'm like this all the time. Now, I've always been a very positive, high-energy person, but of course there are days when I just can't be bothered, days when things feel hopeless, days where I feel this coming on, I take action. I jump up and I do something, anything. I send an email, I go for a walk, I phone someone. It doesn't matter what you do. If you're feeling flat, flat, get up from your desk and go get a coffee. If you're at home and you're feeling wah, put your walking shoes on, go for a walk, go outside, Go do something. Do something that's going to make you feel just a little bit better. I love Thich Nhat Hanh's beautiful quote that my actions are my only true belongings and I cannot escape the consequences of my actions as my actions are the ground upon which I stand. So I'll leave you with that thought and I hope you have an action-packed week. Go well. Bye.